Okay, this is a dynamic crop balance demonstration. Now you won't have any cabin heat for this, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure I won't be needing it. We're not going to be needing it. See what he did here? That closes off that hole a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yours is there, but it hasn't dropped down. Yeah, you also have some air leaks yes. around yes. here and, and here. a lot behind the starter. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do with the starter. Yeah, you basically want to make it as airtight as possible. I mean, sometimes I even come back and put a little piece of uh, RTV, right? A uh, piece of sealant down here in the baffle so I can run a beat here so you can't lose any air down here. It can still go through but not come out. Uh, um, and I block off all of these. We went home and watched a phenomenal movie. What, what was the name of that movie last night? You were the one who wanted to Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, Flight World War II. Flight World War II. It was, it was shot was... on an airplane in a tent. And they were doing they were doing aerobatics in a 7, 767. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> they were out flying the ME-262 in the 767. Jimmy picks the string. He goes, it'll be really good or it'll be really bad. And I kept going. <laughs> hey. so we're going to go ahead and get our first, first commercial. Yeah. All right. Don't stand in front. And don't stand in the prop arc. Yeah. Uh, Roscoe, did you sweep already? We already did. We had right. several people this way. Hey, we got a little dog here. Hold on a second. Boots. Boots, come on. Boots, come on. Come here, Boots. Come here, Boots. Come here, Boots. Come here, Hey, Ken, after, after we get the reading, we'll have you come over and, and shoot the reading on the machine, and then we'll do the calculation on the board. Show okay. Zoom in. What you got up with? Here, that's better. 0.33 at 1.22. So then we're going to go in and do the calculation and tell people what this means and how we're going to correct it. Okay? Okay. 0.33 at 1.22. Right? You're rolling? I'm rolling.
Okay, so we got our initial calculation. The first run was the uh, IPS, which is the inches per second acceleration of 0.33 at 122 degrees. Now that's telling us that 122 degrees is the heavy spot in the rotation. So we're going to add 180 degrees to that. It'll be 302. Now in the ring gear, there are 12 holes drilled every 30 degrees around the ring gear. 302 is very close to 300. So we're going to find the 300th hole, 300th degree hole in the rotation of the prop, and we're going to put our weight there. The calculation says that it's engine horsepower divided by 10. Now Don's got a power flow, but it's still 180 horsepower engine for our calculation. We add 30 to that division. We multiply it by that, we get 15.84 grams. So we're going to come up with a combination of an AM4, a locking bolt, and a combination of washers to get as close as we can to 15.84. We're going to put it at 300. Then we're going to run it again and see what it drops down to. If we do a good calculation, the next number won't be at 122 degrees, it'll be 90 degrees off and that means we've got the primary heavy weight. Now we'll look at the secondary heavy weight and do the calculation. We may not be able to put anything there because it, it will be so light there's nothing we can put there to do it. So we should come down below 0 0.1 with the, first, with the first try. So we're going to go ahead and weigh out as close as we can to 16 grams and go put it on the airplane. So that's what we're going to do next. Thanks again. Are you going to put the spinner back on before you do your final? Uh, okay. So the heavy spot was at 122 degrees. So we're going to put this 32 grams of weight, 300 degrees, which is 100, 180 degrees opposite of the heavy spot because we're going to make up the light spot. It's 300 degrees around. So if this hole right here is 360, 330, the weight's going to go right here at 300. And so that we don't interfere with the starter, we're going to put one weight, one wa so the washer has to go the other way, the small washer on the back. The two big washers on the front. And that bolt, we got to, oh, we got to go back and do some re-wagering on weight because this bolt's going to be too long like this, so we're going to need a shorter bolt. Stand by. It, it weighs more. Then you have to get a shorter bolt, it weighs less. And you got to adjust the washer. So we got to get as close as we can. Thank you. Hello, but it's working perfectly now. So we were trying to get close to 32 grams and we had, we had 32 grams exactly, but the bolt was going to be too long. So we'd have to add a washer to get locking, which would change the weight. So we went to a shorter bolt, we added another big washer. Now this combination here of the bolt, the nut, and the three washers, the AN970-4s, this is actually 33 grams, but then again, we're not actually at six inches from center. We're about five and a quarter. So we went a little heavy. Now we're gonna take another reading and see where we have to add possibly another weight. If we come in anything under 0 .08, 0 0.07, that's already into the very good, excellent range. We'll just leave it there, but we're gonna make one more run to see where we're gonna do a run now to see where we are. Okay. Is there a way to... Uh, before we Well, you're a little. What's, first one I didn't get my. What's your um? What's your static? What, I mean, what's your picture? Your prop sixty three.
you could probably go to another inch of pitch, but that way, this way you'll have climb and you'll have good out there. Yeah, I've got to have that. Yeah. Yeah, all these big hills we have here in Ohio, huh? Right, that's when you need it. Okay, point one at 220. Okay. Now, you got a picture of the uh, of the balance, Ken? Yes. Okay. So what that actually meant was our first reading was at 122 degrees, and now we're at 210. We've moved 90 degrees, which means we balanced the big weight, and now we're going to see if we can chase the little weight. We'll probably add something now in uh, two. It's 220. We'll take the 100. Now we have 40, 45, uh, 40. Closest one will be 30. We'll see about a weight there and see what that works out. We can put a light weight there and then that will drop us way down. So we're going to go do those calculations now. So what we did was we ran the calculation. If we were putting this at a one foot radius, it'd be 4.8 grams based on the formula. So we're going to put approximately 10 grams at 30 degrees, and 10 grams should just be the bolt, and then that we're going to go over and weigh up something small, put it on there, and then this final one should have it fairly well down below 0.07. So let's go get the weeds in on now. I want just come down here. So this is 10.2 grams. It's an AN4-6 bolt, a 6A, a 416, AN960, 416 washer, and the 363-428A nylock nut. So we're going to go put this on at station 30. We calculated it would be at 40 degrees. Between 30 and 60, the closest is 40. So we'll be a little off, but it'll get it, it'll get knock the vibration way down. So we're going to put this on the airplane. Five degrees, which is half between 30 and 60. We will put half the weight here and half the weight here. It's gotcha. a difference. So, and then you always want to put the bolts facing forward because you don't want to interfere with your starter when it comes around. Gotcha. Uh, don't ask us how we know that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what RPM were you turning? At? Whatever he could. You want to get the maximum RPM. The last run was 2340. Yeah. So he's over static RPM for a Tiger, but he does have a power flow. So. It's too bad there's no way we can rig something up to do it in flight. Well, if the sender was Bluetooth, you can True. Check it under the cowling. Don't ask yeah. the experimental guys, they bring something up. Oh, they've already yeah. done it, yeah. All right, well, we're ready for hopefully the last run, and then we can put the airplane all back together. Here. Okay, it balanced in at 0 0.06. So they're going to take it. Go with it. Yep. It's still detected.